Lakers. <laughs> Mm. Now, it's not 100%. It's it not is, a done it deal. It is wishful thinking. But I'm going to okay. leave a little space mm. for the Raptors and very little for the Clippers, mm. but a little. Mm. Yesterday, Kawhi group, camp, whatever you want, they called Magic Johnson several times when Magic was in church. Mm. And Magic gets out of church and gets the messages, and they talk. They told him what they were looking for. If okay. this happens, there are going to be two people you they should thank, the Lakers and all of L.A., Magic Johnson and LeBron James. And by way of LeBron kind of clutch, but Magic Johnson and LeBron James. That's who's orchestrating this whole thing, real talk. I believe he'll end up with the Lakers. They're his first choice. But the Lakers know if they get Kawhi, then everyone who doubted them and the process gets to be wrong and they get to be right. They get to have the best player in the world, LeBron James, or if you believe the best player in the world, Kawhi Leonard, with the second best, vice versa, and the best big man in the world, Anthony Davis. It would be not just a better big three than the one in Miami. It would be the best big three ever. It would be three, I said, of the top ten. I think three of the consensus seven best players in the world in LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, and Anthony Davis. So this would be one of the best collection of the big three that we've ever seen. To me, I think they have more talent than the big three LeBron had in Miami. And if you look at the age of the players and now in the, in the day of load management, to me, this would be the best three that we've ever had. And they'd be able to manage it because you wouldn't need all of them to play 70 games. I just don't know if this will be a good look uh, for LeBron James. If I, I think if he adds the second best player, first best player, third best player, whatever you want to call Kawhi, to himself and Anthony Davis, I, I think that cheapens his legacy to some degree. I know some people will celebrate what a great recruiter and he restored the Lakers, but I'm not sure if this is the best thing for LeBron's legacy, landing Kawhi Leonard. That's what the knock is going to be. Is like three guys got together to do what's easy. Sure. They can all sit for 25 games a year in the regular season and just roll out there at playoff time. This would be easier. It'll be the same. Look. This same little easy path just calls Kevin Durant yep. to flee Golden State. And Kawhi Leonard controls the league. Okay, and as dysfunctional as the Lakers have been, don't they have the best pitch? Don't they have the best pitch? Sun, history, titles, LeBron, home, help, America, number one NBA brand. And for anybody denying Kawhi's power in this league, with one move to the Lakers, he can wipe out league parity, crush the Clippers' soul, and end the Raptors' title window. And here's another thing that patience did for him. He makes Kevin Durant and Brooklyn much less relevant. Kevin Durant just made a huge mistake to me. The legacy move for Kevin Durant was obviously to go to the Knicks. And I don't respect the fact that Kevin said no to this. This is a chance. If you want a couple of championships with the Knicks, you'd need Kyrie along also. But if you had both chosen the Knicks, you could have started making the case in the end that you were the second best player in the history of basketball to Michael Jordan. That's how big an opportunity you just left on the table for what? You know what it's for? I think it's just friendship. No, seriously. That's what it's about. I think it's what he never could connect with in Golden State. I think Brooklyn will be interesting. I never think Kyrie Durant, Spencer Dinwiddie, and DeAndre Jordan will be great. This is an organization that nobody's ever paid attention to. So they have a new outfit and a parrot on their shoulder, and a cool hat, and they'll walk into the party now because the Knicks whiffed, and they're going to be fascinating. They're never going to be great. Brooklyn is built to get attention. Their two stars, Kyrie and Kevin Durant, both regularly spar with the media. They're going to get attention, and I think they're going to like it because nobody has ever paid attention to them. But now you're going to get a year of Kyrie by himself and then he's just as supposed to hand it over to Kevin Durant. Now, I think he's going to get used to getting talked about and getting to shoot when he wants and getting the points he wants. And I think we're confusing interesting with great. <laughs>